fucking building headers on the ladder. It's a tight one. This is a third gen Camaro right from Chevy's lot. Chevy just developed a thousand horsepower, normally aspirated big block. We have to build in a month. How do you feel about that, CP? A month? So dirty. Those are my work boots. Uh, yeah, so anyway, back to the Camaro. Um, yeah, I thought it was a V8 R7. It kind of looks like one from here. It actually looks like any car we own from right here. It's okay, because when this showed up, I thought everyone was surprising me with a new motor for the Nova. We, we all we did. This is just the Maka motor. We're waiting on the crate motor, which should be here any day now. Running four cans of NOS on there. I haven't tried the grape. Listen, we're going to be honest with you. We haven't touched this. What a shocker. So but we can tell you everything these guys did, which makes it sound like we did it. So check it out. We sanded things. Sanded it. We made it into a manual rack. Did we make this motor? I forget. No, Chevy, Chevy Performance made, made that. Oh, we okay. Put it in. We put it in. Great, great, cool. Yeah, we got that. In. Vertical transmission, so it's a dog boxer. Electric power steering connected Whoa. to the steering column. Did we make that brake pedal? We made that too. That's yeah, I think sick. we made that. Yeah. That looks like the kind of thing Alex Grimm would make, but surprisingly, we made we it. it. Yeah, eleven out of ten. We, we put, put that bar in the back. We haven't welded it in yet, but uh, that yeah, will be for the yeah, four link. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We also started mocking up the diff. Okay, you're in over. <laughs> Yo, I just almost shit it out. My. <laughs> what do you want to do with this? Oh yeah, so maybe it's getting KWs. Sick. I don't know. We have to paint the rear end mm -hmm. and mount it. And then we have to trim the fenders. bigger wheels, right? By the way, to the right is Kyle. He's the one that makes these videos funny. He's over there looking at us, saying everything we're saying is trash. But there's definitely a meme he can put over this to make it funny. <laughs> yeah, insert meme to make us seem funny. Oh. You're gonna try and protect this one, aren't yeah. you? This car needs to be done in 21 days. This is the part where we start acting like we're gonna do stuff. I think if we cut the montage, no one will notice we're not working on the car. Just different hand. We need something to do on this episode. That's why I say cut the fender. Why do you listen to her? You know, because I think he's my friend. It hurts nobody's feelings. 305? That'd be pretty sick. Who needs suspension, right? Only gotta go straight, right? Straight to the steam pool. That's exactly what mine looks like too. distance on that shit. This thing's got reach. This is pretty much steel in a can. This ain't paint, this is coating. So what we're doing, we got some raw metal going on here. We welded our tabs. Now we cover it with steel, it, which is literally like covering it in a brand new sheet of steel. It's sick. I use it on my personal car. I had super rusty parts, sandblast them, hit them with steel. It. It's like a brand new part on here. It's already new. We want to give it just that fresh coating so it looks good underneath, but it also lasts a really long time. And if we have to weld anything else to it, you can weld onto the steel it, stainless, anti-corrosive, and like I said, it's weldable. I went with the black. They got a gray coating too, but the black just looks better on here. I think I can shoot it out the door. Round one. <laughs> 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 what did I just walk into? <laughs> How did you get smoked by us? Because it's fast. Do you know how fast that's spinning? <laughs> I almost, yo, I almost that thing was gaining speed. You You get in there, big guy? Yeah. That's exactly how you guys took that out, huh? Yes. Exactly. 
I can see that they did. This is the other side of the forelink inside the car where the rear end hooks up. Because this thing has a torque arm, but we're not putting it back on. We're using a forelink instead. Oh my. The work was horrible. You're welding for a second. I know. There it is. It was in the wrong place. I made a custom set of pedals for the Camaro. Made the entire thing. Pedal box, mounting system, the pedals themselves. Come on. It's a balancing act. <laughs> you seeing this, Kyle? Yo, did you build that pedal box? Oh my God, dude. You can't get a word in with these guys. Of course I built that pedal box. Did you build one of these for my Nova? Nah, I can't. Look at the size of that pedal. What are you gonna put on there? Oh, grip tape. All this, and you're gonna just do grip tape down there? Somebody ordered it. Two bees that somebody. This is really nice though. What are you doing with the gas pedal? Stock. What's this hole for? That hole, that's for the balance bar. These holes, that's for our brakes, clutch, bolts onto the firewall, above the steering column. I know we normally would paint this with steel it, but I think you should gold plate that mother. I'm down. Spend the money. Great explanation, we're done. Cut, cut. Yeah, I'm gonna make it right on top there. That's why there's two holes here. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I seen you work on a third gen before. I'm worried. I did a great job. You did a shit ass job. This thing is wicked out of break. Now we got a clutch. <laughs> This is an unboxing episode. This is what the kids love. You're the worst. You're the worst unboxer ever. What the f do you do when you unbox? You just open the box. Get it. No. This is how you unbox. Very nice packaging. QA1. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Wow. Do so you have to give a reaction? That looks like a piece of a suspension that goes on the vehicle. Let's open this up. Wow, nicely saran wrapped. Oh, wow. That's really a shock absorber. That's how you do an unboxing. It's not even listening. This is a whole kit that we got from Hyatt's. Hyatt's? Hyatt's? Hyatt's. I was told I unboxed incorrectly. I think the only difference was he said a lot of wow. Wow. That was it. <laughs> wow. wow. This thing spins so nice. You want your highest point to be the fill point, which is gonna be your radiator cap. Because if it's not, then you're always gonna have an air pocket. I'm just guesstimating that this and this are pretty close in height. So this has to be up a little bit more, like another inch. Good problem. Okay, good. We cut out the original battery tray because the stock one looks kinda of nasty. It's another fabricated component. Just makes it look a little more fancy. Drop a lighter in here. I want to lay the carpet back in, start getting it back together. And I'm going to be underneath here, so don't step on my head. I'm going to see. Alex, the people want to know what we did today. We didn't do shit. Tony and Daniel did a lot of stuff, though. <laughs> yes. 
myself. I did all of this work by myself. Yes. Yes. You get other guys to do your shit. And you tell everybody <laughs> you did your shit. Oh. You want to be a host? That's what you got to do. I don't want to be a host. A little recap of your day. Oh, wait. What do you do, you do? Oh. Oh. Is that the recap? Yes. Oh. <laughs> First things first, we got the engine in. That's our real engine. That's the one that came off the dyno. It made a thousand and one horsepower and I forget the torque number. Actual heads, it's not plastic anymore. Actual intake manifold. You could tell this motor ran before because it's got marks. It still has coolant stuff in it. So the radiator got mounted today. We made the bracket, we made the mounts, all that cool stuff. That's QA1 top hat, QA1 coilover. Heights. Height. Heights. Heights. Lower control arm. Got the upper link mounts welded in. Also got the fuel cell mounted. Did the fuel cell that we had laying around, which actually looks really cool in there. Did you tell the people about your custom pedals? Yeah, we got them coated with steel it. Put the sandpaper. Grip tape. Grip tape. Put the grip tape on there. And now we just have to focus on getting the engine. Wired, wired fuel, fuel brake lines. Brake lines. We're gonna put this on top of that jack. We're gonna jack it up. You lost me it. Soupy and I are going to. We're just gonna lift it up, you stupid. By the way, we call everybody by the wrong name. Can everyone just chill? Oh, yeah, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Up, up, up. But grease her up first. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to push that in dry. That's rubber. You never want to push stuff through rubber dry. Mm. Life lesson, kids. Whoa, I totally screwed that up. You saw nothing. Ooh, hey. There it is, Daniel. Oh, yes. That's smooth. Ooh, that's nice. All right, put the thing in. Supi just said L is passenger side. I asked Where's you. the left side of the car? It depends on which side you're looking at it from. Brake rotors, right? You see the scoops? Yeah. They don't face forward. They face the other way. It takes the air from in here and expels it out. These are called curve veins. Doesn't matter which way to drill. No, it's where the veins go. And now you know. Okay, right goes on right. This is your right hand. If I turn around, does not make it my left hand. Look at that craftsmanship. Kevin, you really did a great job with this. Yeah. If you just box that. No, the 18 to 30. Anytime someone gets a tour, they're important. I never got a tour. Did you get a tour? No. We're I not allowed know. past this shop. And they lock us in here. Send help. Yeah. Blink twice. Oh my god, that's so nice. Put that thing right up on there with that spacer, and then there you go. I definitely did a better job. Oh, you did a better job? I can't even see yours. Yours are coated with steel. And thank God we use steel to paint that because now I can just weld this thing. This looks promising. Do people realize that we're up on a ladder? Because Alex Grimm is taking such a long time doing the rear end and building headers on the ladder. Good. It's good. I got it. Where's this gonna go? Oh my god, this is awful. Oh, yes. That was way easier. Here you go, Alex. Thank you. Now just reach up there, Brock. Go up a little bit. Okay, now you see that red lever? No, no. ah, damn it! Right, stop, stop! Yeah, that red lever, pull that. At the same time, you have to push down that other lever. Yep. There we go. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I'll do it. Right uh, okay, yeah, let's see this. Let's see this. Oh, oh, oh damn. damn! I almost lost my entire hand right there. Because Suki's impatient. Mm -hmm. Come in. Slow, Soupy, Jesus. Oh my God! It 
it's in there, the four link is done. So some of you are probably asking why we went with a four link. We got a little adjustability built in. We also have adjustment inside of the car so we can change the angle of our top link. And then we have our pan hard bar to keep everything in check, left to right. Also got some QA1 coilovers on the top here. Super cool. Four link, done, installed, looking good. It'll fit. I am mounting this dash inside here. We took the old cluster off. Hey, quiet on set! So we took the old cluster off and to update the whole cluster, we're using this dash. I trimmed out some pieces through here. A little adapter plate that bolts onto the back of here. And then that bolts to that. That's it. Easy. All right, what size you reckon? Probably metrico. Metrico? Grim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, can you not do that? I now I have to sit here. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God, I'm about. If we did this during the day, <laughs> we would get nothing done. Even. Together. You felt that energy. We. Look at it. We painted the engine bay. We painted the engine bay last well, night. I'm not taking credit for this. <laughs> yeah. Because of SEMA. We had to paint this thing in the parking lot last night. Don't mind the firewall. That's going to get thermotech. Yep. You guys are doing great. Thanks, camera guy. I'm fine with that, actually. Yeah. So. Should we get to it? Well, maybe you wheeze. You wheeze. We wheeze. You wee wheeze. We wheeze. We wheeze. We. Who's we? The wiring harness is. 95% done Look, now. We're not gonna say we chanted this. The smarter, more beautiful, the harder working, super chai. How do you say your last name again? Wedge Panish. Wedge Panish. We. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, it's kind of cool that the coil packs are in the middle of the valley. I don't know why I love Chevy flywheels. Biggest things on earth. Yeah, but this is like even bigger because it's a big block. How much does that weigh? That was like the uh, lighter weight option. Oh, yeah, still <laughs> 45 pounds. 45 yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. We took it all apart the other day and took the mock up motor out. We're going to sit it back onto the cradle with the transmission and there. then just pop it back in. But before we do that, we got to thermal tech the firewall. So, thermal tech it is. Where is it? <laughs> Where's all the stuff we need? We just do one of those like snap transitions. Oh, the transition zone. Hot stuff <laughs> is hot in it. A thermal tech heat barrier, it basically keeps the heat on this side, stops you from going inside and uh, not burning your feet and stuff like that. You want to do silver? Sure. You want cardboard? Yeah. You, do you need Daniel? I'll save Daniel from this place. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. What the fuck? My son. Just pull it. It's going. Now we just need to build the top half. I mean, it's taking most of the day, but he's doing a great job. Let's put the engine in, let's go. Cool skateboard, man. Yeah, really hold that. Right there. It's close. Keep, keep going. Come on. Get her done. Which way? Towards me? Right there, right there. You guys don't see these guys a lot, but this is Tony. He's got a cool truck. He helps us with a lot of stuff. And that's Danny. He's got a GS300 and an S2000. He helps out with a lot of stuff too. As you can see, Soupy's super busy back there. The one time. Everyone, this is the one time. Shifter's good. Thanks for the help, Tony. That's a tight one. 
Yeah. Yeah, something in the front is pushing it out. So you let bolts run in the train though? You're asking the guy who made the other guys put every single bolt away <laughs> that we have organized. It wasn't organized. Yeah, it don't. was. This is why you don't see Tony, because we don't like Tony. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now we're in the right spot. Guys, stop. We're lifting the car up. And which way? That way. To, towards. Oh, shit. Is that the right bolt? Yeah, it should be. Hang on, you're going back too much. <laughs> too much. It's very difficult <laughs> to be gingerly <laughs> moving the car at a big block with my foot. Uh, maybe push back a little more? How am I gonna push back? Hey, see. You've been at that. Whoa, whoa. Yo, you mad weak. Hang on, everybody. Just chillax. How f hard was that, huh? It's not in shit! I know, I know. Nice the washer, job, the I know, stupid! Go back! Home without the washer. Why he jerked it, you screw it. All right, I think I got it. There you go. Okay, good. Is lunch here? How long has food been here? Is this why Dan and Hurt left? Yeah. Oh, uh... Motor. Oh, motor's in. Yeah, in the basement, but that firewall, though. From this angle, it looks red because it's super shiny. So much red. It came out all right. I see a few issues. Well, that's big props. There's issues because you were rushing me the whole time. It's true. You stood over his shoulder. Literally he said he would time. not be micromanaged. It's true. He cannot be contained. Things <laughs> <laughs> come together quick, dude. Looks good. Huge motor. <laughs> Huge. It's really nice in here. Who made the mount kit? It came with the cradle, but we did have to modify a little bit because this is such a large oil pad because of the stroke of the crank. So we had to raise it up just a little bit to so clear this their steering right. rack. But otherwise, everything just fit right on, and then. We bought these suspensions from Hyatt QA1 coilovers with their top hats, which are not on right now. Alex finished the pedal box. So you see the three master cylinder? Mm -hmm. so that's freaking cool. I, I think that's like the coolest part of the car. Dang. It's like you made this for me to do it. I got some 14 inch stompers right here. We don't have a radiator yet. We have a radiator. It's not in here yet. Uh, the top uh, coolant line made. We got to make the bottom one. Got to get the alternator and the pulley kit on. Intake manifold. Air conditioning. There's no air conditioning. There's no power steering. This power assist. Okay. It's a manual rack, so you can't just chuck it left and right. So this way you guys can't drift it. Yeah, oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. Jeez. This thing is a couple days from running, huh? Yeah, we had some sensors today, we could get it fired up, but we're missing a map sensor, some pressure sensors. Whoa. You see the size of that port? Jesus. You could lose <laughs> your whole God. arm in there. SEMA is 15 days away. Yeah. Hurt also has a car going to SEMA, and it's not even in the building. Is your motor in the car yet? Does your car have paint on it? Primer. Does it have headlights in it yet? Yes. Everyone, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's next week. I'm gonna finish it next week. Leave what? I'm just gonna paint it down there. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, cool. Interesting guy. <laughs> <laughs>